It will be Leeford Allen who will be the tip of the spear for Cebu and we are off. When we were talking about playing against the Sun, Minjola using it to their advantage. Here they go, but it is picked up by Badelic. That shot was taken by Junior Sam. Another service. Liao almost got it. I believe it was on target, but Minjola just hustled back to get it. What more with that electric Cebuano crowd that they play in front of? And that can be a factor for them when they visit. And that was saved by Siniza. Borlongan seemed to get that on target. Here we go, another ball to slice the defense. It's a tough one. Hama just put it into the mix, but the Uano headers is over the crossbar. Kore getting it up for them. Altinoz. Looks like he has that free roaming role. Owano, there's the keeper to beat. And there you go. The breakthrough goal. Cebu get what they were looking for after that grind it out 54 minutes. Ivan Owano, a hometown hero. Gets to say now that he plays for his home province. And another goal to add to the tally. Ever reliable winger in JB Borlongan. Sending this in. Borlongan. Did play collegiate football for UP. And it's taken. Goal number two. In the 59th minute. It is Marius Corre. He's rocking the celebration, joy and jubilation. And like what I said, Claro, right on cue, from that particular position, I kind of felt that, of course, the midfielders will have to make a run for this just to confuse the Mendiola defense. That's exactly what Corre did. Look at him sneaking from behind. This game opening up a bit as they switch it up. It's with Borlongan trying to break free, gets past one man. Taken, but just shy off the far post by Hama. To, uh, of course, a booking and possession for them. It looks like the ankle was clipped a bit and that slide was from quite a distance. Here we go. Jola on the right, but Badelic with the denial at the near post. Here we go. They throw this one forward. Junior gets into the box. The shot. And there you go. Menjola pull one back. Goal number 10 for the team this season. A confidence booster. Will this be a mere consolation? Or will this be the start of a fight back? It's a long one. He stays on side, keeps it, evades one defender, evades another, and finally... With the help of the bounces of the ball. And he, here's another one. It's taken short. They'll try to mess around with the defense. And that found the back of the net, but no goal. And Seniza is confronting Hama. And we saw a punch thrown, I believe, on Hama by Seniza. Seniza did not like how Hama. Sinisa did not like how Hama got close to him and I think there was some extra motion and then as we look back there we go Levi there's a punch thrown from the looks of it try to weather the storm intercepted though by Cordova he will try to make amends for that but a punch was clearly thrown there by Ferrer Benches clearing, and I saw that I saw from my angle that was clearly thrown. The Minjola bench clearing, but the likes of Coach Niboy and company keeping them calm with safety first. Owano gets this, he has support from Altinoz and Miyagi. He floats it in, Miyagi, and he puts that in. 
Game set match, 3-1 for Cebu. The super sub now. And there you have it. But it looks like there is an altercation between Menjola players themselves.